Hey everyone, it's a Saturday morning, about to be Saturday afternoon here in Hanoi, Vietnam. Today's date is April 20th, 2024. The time is about 11 o'clock a.m. Temperature is 93 Fahrenheit, 34 Celsius. The uh, US AQI is uh, 156 unhealthy, so that's why he's wearing a mask right now because it says that it's recommended to wear one. But uh, it might get better starting at around three o'clock so I don't know but in this video I want to uh, walk over to the Long Bien area of Hanoi I'm always checking that air quality reading before I go out. Yeah, Deborah, it's hot in Vietnam. I think it's also hotter in uh, Saigon right now. Yeah, by one degree. It's 94 in Ho Chi Minh City and 93 here in Hanoi. This dim sum restaurant is fantastic, by the way. Ding dim sum. I did a review of this place. But all their dishes are under $2 each, which is incredible. I've got to get over to the main road, which is uh, going to be a challenge, as you know. Let's see. Actually, Google Maps is telling me I should not cross the street, stay on this side of the street to go get onto the bridge. Which I'm all for, because it's a pretty wide road.
Hello, Jay said I saw you posting on Walks on Wall Street. Yes, I was in his um, live chat. Actually, this sidewalk doesn't look too bad right now. I call that the echoing car horn. Do -do 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 Haven't heard it anywhere else except for Vietnam, or, as, or at least not as frequently as here. This is kind of tricky. Different elevation changes. One, two. Ethan says, what a crazy street, too many cars and motorcycles. I've gotten used to it by now. Oh wow, I see these buses, they go to Long Dien which is uh, my destination. These are the green VIN buses, which are all electric. I still haven't taken the bus in Hanoi, or Vietnam for that matter. I've seen skateboarding in Vietnam, Canada, this, but it's more in like the plazas, not really too much on the street here. Hey, that bus is going where I am, E05, Long Dien. Yes, Harry, I visited that ice cream shop twice already. 
on this live stream. Well, here's another one. I actually don't really think bus ridership is that much in um, Vietnam. I think most people, they just ride their own motorbikes from place to place. All right, let's see uh, how I'm going to cross over to Long Bien. Google Maps says there's a pedestrian path somewhere. Right here. But it looks like I have to go past the bridge and then loop back. Hung Miao says, more convenient to ride a motorbike. Oh, for sure. It's actually super convenient for me to uh, open up Grab, the ride hailing app, and get a motorbike taxi and get door-to-door -door service. And it's so affordable, too. All right, this says no pedestrians over there. I don't have the right of way here. So if you road rage as a pedestrian, it's your own darn fault. You cannot road rage as a pedestrian here in Vietnam. It's not allowed. Thank you, Bodie McBoatface418 for $4. Appreciate the support. Thanks so much. Okay, I think... Hmm. This is the train station. But I don't think I go up there. Yeah, Google Maps says go straight and then turn right on the next street. I'll find my way across this bridge. Oh, here's Ban Chun. Ban Chun Nong, which means warm rice roll. Vietnamese steamed rice rolls. Uh, this place isn't open. All right, let's see if this gets up to the bridge.
kind of feels like I've walked up this way before going to the train station. Oh, you know what? It's probably that area where there were like tons of motorbikes like on a very narrow street. Well, we'll find out. Oh yes, that's exactly what it is. I came here on, uh, I think my very first live stream in Hanoi. Wait, is the train coming soon? Is that why there's people here waiting? There's the train station for um, the old quarter. Oh no, it's the Long Bien station. There's another one for um, Hanoi, the old quarter. All right, this is the way I have to cross to Long Bien. <laughs> Why not? Let's do it. Deja vu, I come here again. Actually, it's not that bad because the motorbikes are coming at me. So you're able to see. But I can continue to walk over here, just step over these bars. I don't know though, uh, it's just one concrete slab. I don't know how secure this is gonna be walking across the whole bridge. A part of me says uh, this is dangerous because one of these Concrete slabs can fall down. Kind of reminds me of a video game, those uh, disappearing platforms from like Super Mario. You step on them and they start falling down. That's what I don't want. Seems secure to me. Then again, I'm observing like each concrete block. To make sure like a, it looks secure enough. Frank says this looks like a long bridge. I think it is. It's a motorbike only bridge and pedestrian. Some of these slabs, um, they jiggle a little bit when I step on them, which makes me a little bit concerned. to see what's going on in the street below we can this one I don't know
if a train comes by on this bridge, it's probably going to shake the whole thing violently. This is the uh, first, whoa. One of these jiggles and made a noise when I stepped on it. Looks like the steel structure is rusting away. I don't know. It definitely needs a new paint job. I'm the only one walking on this bridge. I don't know if locals even walk this bridge. Oh my goodness, some of them are jiggling. Man, you know what, I'm gonna walk over here. There's no scooters coming. <laughs> I don't know, it feels kind of dangerous here. I'm done walking on those concrete slabs. <laughs> I'm getting nervous when I'm stepping on and some of them are jiggling and making noise. Because even though it might be safe, I don't know, I still don't like that feeling of stuff wobbling underneath me. And I'm still here. Oh. 
Yeah, that's scary. All right, what I'll do is I'll try to minimize as much time as I can on the concrete slab portion. A lot of these scooter riders have space so they can use the other side. Kevin says the bridge opened in 1903. I hope these concrete slabs on the walkway aren't from 1903 also. Otherwise, I'm kind of gambling with my life there, stepping on these concrete slabs. I felt safer when I was hiking like Diamond Head or Lani Kai pillbox in Hawaii even though there was no like railing on both sides or to the Hollywood sign than this. This one it's like, I don't know, stuff can fall underneath me. Hey, someone's walking the bridge. Storming says, I almost made it. Yeah, I almost did. Wait, there's a pathway to go down from here? Oh, that concrete slab just jiggled. Oof. Man. I feel like my heart skips a beat when the slab wobbles. Wow, this is crazy. People actually scooter up here. And I just try to like step on this. This thing is so slippery. Holy moly. Yeah, it's slippery. So, uh, yeah. Have to put it up. I know. I'm scared to walk over here. It stops moving. <laughs> Woo! Oh, man. We're almost over the water. That's that's the part where I'm going to be really scared to walk on the concrete part, on the slab part. Because you fall into the water, it's going to be that much harder to get help. All right. Whew. All right. <laughs> Here it is, the uh, 
skyline of Hanoi. And I'm above water now. At least the railing here is higher than the other part, but <laughs> still kind of low. I have to say this is the, uh, <laughs> the most precarious bridge I've ever walked. Train. What? You're kidding me. Why that person just litter? Toss the bag right into the water. That's not cool. Shame on him. At least the train is running slow, but I think they have to because this bridge is so old. If they run it any quicker, it might destabilize the bridge. Roy says, you hate that. You see it in San Francisco too. I've seen it all over the world, really. I don't like litter bugs. No respect for the environment. But to just toss it into the river like this, that's not good. They couldn't even do it on land. Are you kidding me? Why aren't they riding their scooter the other way? Do got a nice view. This guy's cycling across. I'm even afraid to use my phone because I'm afraid like it'll fall down the slit there. <laughs> Yikes. And there's so many openings that your phone can like slip through. 
Right? I think I've conquered my fears of walking over these concrete slabs, even if they do jiggle. At this point, I made it this far. I might as well just walk the whole way. Whoa! Well, maybe not. I'm going to go back down here. <laughs> A few, just a few of those concrete slabs and made me rethink my decision. Uh. I don't think you're gonna get a dedicated video of me crossing this bridge again. This is a uh, this is too much for me to do more than once. Roy says, I hope you don't have to go back. Well, I'll take a car or a motorbike taxi back. I'm not walking this bridge back at all. Whoa, that was... <laughs> Ugh. Yes, I'm going to have to clip this as a dedicated video. <laughs> I'll have to title it the most dangerous bridge I've ever crossed. Which is absolutely true. Daryl says, reminds me of the bridge I crossed in Florida. No, this one's even worse. Because I'm getting uneasy just with every step I take on these concrete slabs. And the railing is low. And you got motorbikes. And when was this bridge built? 1909? Holy moly. <laughs> you got like a 115 year old bridge. <laughs> I actually just skipped the tile and I stepped over it because that one seem kind of chipped away. This one right here, because the edge seems kind of... But you see what I mean? This one's kind of jiggling a little bit when I do that. Oh! I don't know, it really feels like Super Mario Brothers. Oh! Oh my gosh! I don't know, one of these made a loud noise. Oh! I do not want to be on a bad platform and fall down like Super Mario Brothers into the bottomless pit and lose a life. Oh gosh. Whew. I 
Actually, some of these slabs have been replaced too. I see dates on them. Twenty twenty two. 2022 so the bridge does get inspected which is good Whew. all right I'm uh, I think I'm safe I'm no longer walking over water. All right, I've made it, ooh. I, I don't know if I'm sweating from the heat or I'm sweating because of my emotions. Probably both. Oh man. Oh man. I don't know. I'm going to take a break here. That was a uh, heart racing. Oh. What is what this bridge? That sidewalk was scary. Oh man, look look at my sweat. That's a combination from the heat and my scared scariness. <sighs> man, man, man. I don't think any of you watching have ever crossed the bridge like that. If you did, tell me, because that was scary. And I've crossed hundreds of bridges in my life. Nothing was scarier than that one. It's scary for all of you watching, and you're not even the one walking it. <sighs> oh man. Yes, I'm sweating. Just have to look at my shirt. It's big time sweating. <sighs> yeah, thank goodness I'm off of that bridge. Oh. Not only that, I did it with a mask on. So it's even hotter. All right, let's check out Long Dien now, which is on the other side of the river. This side looks nicer. Over here, it looks like more of the same, a big road.
I like this cafe. I'm glad that the trains that cross that bridge, they run at a slow speed because uh, I don't think that bridge can handle faster speeds. Cannabis says you must have had a big breakfast. Yeah, I'm glad I had a good breakfast. <laughs> Gave me the energy to cross that bridge and not freeze up. Oh, uh, let me open my phone. I'll tell you what the name of that bridge was and also the name of the river because I was too afraid to use my phone when I was crossing it. So uh, that was Chao Long Bien, Long Bien Bridge, and I crossed over the Red River. I'm gonna have to look up that bridge now. <laughs> Kinda looks like golden orange. Gary says Long Bien Bridge, good to know. You'll never walk on that bridge. I mean, it was safe enough for me to cross, but it just felt unsettling to me. Very unsettling. I've crossed rope bridges that seem more secure than that one. Actually, the sidewalk is pretty good here. Yeah, Roy, we uh, did come into a pretty nice neighborhood. Lots of trees, restaurants, cafes. And I'm sure the prices here are a lot less expensive than the old quarter. I don't think tourists will venture here at all. You better preach says Long Green Bridge is one of the most ancient bridges in Vietnam. An ideal place for tourists to visit, explore, and commemorate the heroic history of Vietnam. 
Is that from a tourist guide? Because uh, I would add that <laughs> it may seem unsettling to walk over that bridge. But there's more stuff down here. At least I'm grateful for all these trees here. It gives me a break from all the sun. I sure got a lot of it walking across the bridge. Twenty two thousand for a cafe. Kum Tam Saigon. Kum Tam is broken rice. They usually serve it with a fried egg, some cucumber pork chops. I've had it before. Actually looks like there's construction down there. Let's go down here. Local street, why not? I'll show you the local side of Hanoi. Been done. Gordo says looks like a different small city now. Hanoi is so interesting, like you can't turn down a different street, it looks completely different.
looks like they have a roasted duck over here. Uh, Don Ko, is there Don Don Doki in Vietnam? Um, trying to think. There might have been one in Aeon when I went to Ho Chi Minh City. I already posted the videos from that mall, but I don't really remember now. That's actually smart. The passenger was holding the umbrella on the uh, bicycle here. Yeah. Bun Cha. Looks good. Um, uh, juices and smoothies. Alright, there's the main road coming up. Wow, there's a busy area. And I lose my sidewalk here to construction. Nice hair salon. At least with all this construction going around, I don't have to worry about scooters. Well, maybe I still do. They're still scootering through this dirt road. You gotta have off-road tires here when you're riding a motorcycle.
I wonder how common flat tires are here. Bonsai trees, they look very nice. Pack A13 says people seem to park their motorcycles and cars just about anywhere. Yeah, to me, that's what it feels like. But I do know there are certain zones where they could park their motorbikes, like here. You have to park behind the white line. And you do see restrictions at times and paid parking as well. Bus E02 goes to Ocean Park. It's actually a good distance from here. I know it's a lot of like small shops, electronic stores here, boutiques. Yeah, I saw that Gordo. There's another wedding being prepared. Alicia. Yeah, it looks like an overpass to me. I'll have to see if it's worth uh, crossing over or not. You can get ramen for 59,000 dong. That's just over $2. The last I checked, one US dollar was like 25,400 dong. The US dollar increased in relation to the Vietnamese dong since I've been here. I think when I came here, it was like 24,600. Now it's 24, uh, 25,400 to one US dollar.
yeah, the uh, U.S. dollar increased a lot compared to other currencies. Even the Taiwanese dollar, it was like 31 and change when I went there. Now it's 32 for one dollar. 32.54. The Thai bar is 36.81. It wasn't even uh, like barely above 36 when I visited Thailand a month ago. Even the Japanese yen is 154.63. I remember when it was like 145, like a few months ago. The British pound was like 70 something pence. Wow. Yeah, that's right, Don Cole. Right now, there's some turbulence in the markets right now, especially with world events going on. I don't need to repeat what they are, but uh, if you just turn on a lot of news stations, you'll know. But yes, I have been following the events, but I don't like to discuss them here. Look at this, there's a vendor here selling safes. There's so many safes here. You know the thing with safes, they're good to like protect your valuables from easy crime, crimes of opportunity. But believe me, if you give a thief enough time, they can break open the safe or they can just carry the safe with them. And then they have all the time they, in the world to crack open the safe at a place of their leisure. I think safes also, um, they have high heat resistance, so um, your valuables, they don't burn. Canada Biz says the best place for money is in a savings account. Um, if you mean cash, I would say there's better places to put your money than a savings account. But I'm not going to talk about it endlessly. That depends on you and what you find your investment opportunities to be. But savings account is good for emergency expenses when you want to have money on hand but not good to keep up with 
inflation, devaluation of currencies. And also when you want to transfer the money, it can get a little bit difficult. I'm waiting for this pedestrian light to change. If it ever does. All right, I'm gonna go. <laughs> Enough people are stopping here where it'll be fine. Maria says, awesome to see all the different neighborhoods in Hanoi. Yeah, Hanoi has really been surprising me to see all the different places. Oh my goodness. I'm so scared for her. Just cycling across the road like that. You better priest says yes they'll close your savings account if you transfer too much. Yeah, that's another thing too. Like uh it feels like sometimes you get spied on or your bank is like secretly reporting on you on all your transactions. If you transfer too much money out, they're gonna be suspicious. Or if you transfer it to somebody or some place that, you know, that is not legal or whatever, in their eyes, your account might get closed or flagged. So that's a downside of keeping your money in the banks as well. Even if you put all of your cash in a savings account and you want to go to your bank like tomorrow to withdraw all the money in cash, they may not even have all the cash on hand to give you. They're gonna say, sorry, we don't have any more bank notes to give you. You gotta give us notice. Charles says that bus just missed it. I was scared. Whoa, this is the first time I've ever seen Popeyes. Popeyes Louisiana Kitchen here in Hanoi. I saw KFC, but not Popeyes. Johnson Z said lots of people buy gold in Costco. Yeah, I've heard Costco is selling gold bars now and they've been a popular product. Asian one that says love some Popeyes. Yeah, Popeyes chicken is good.
Keith Haven says, gold and silver are a great hedge against inflation. Yes, good hedge against inflation. And also against unstable economies. And lack of trust in the government. Gold and silver is a direct challenge to the fiat money system. I remember when gold was just breaching $1,000 an ounce back in 2008. And that was big news back then. Now it's $2,400 an ounce, more than double. Johnson says KFC is better. It's not dry like Popeyes. I haven't had Kentucky Fried Chicken in a while. It's not really what I willingly want to eat. Look at this glass building. Oh, Hung Mao says I should try Bun Seo. I've tried it already. Really good. Brian says, Bun Tik Nung. Um, I think I've had that too. Wow, Mazda car dealership. Well, we got Peugeot, Mazda, and Kia, it seems like. I'm curious, do they have a sticker here? How much does it cost for one of these? In the US, they put the sticker on the car. No, no prices. Oh well. But even then, when they do have a sticker, it's not the right price anyway. They're going to say, oh, this is the manufacturer's suggested retail price. But then you go buy it, and it's like, no, we cannot sell it for the MSRP. We got all these taxes, fees, you want this upgrade. We have a dealer's markup. You got to negotiate with me, man. I do not like car salesmen. They're like so sly. They're like, no, 
you got to do better. I'm going to give you for this price, and I want you to buy it for this price. And you'd be like, okay, I'm going to give you that price minus $1,000. No, I want my price only. You're either going to pay me that price, or you're not going to leave here without a car. I think anyone who ha who's had experience negotiating the price of a car will know exactly what I mean. And you know where dealerships make their money the most? It's not so much on the car itself, but it's the financing. That's who you gotta be careful of, the finance manager. Congratulations on your brand new car. Now you gotta find out, figure out how to pay it, man. Listen, I'll throw you the seven year warranty. It's only gonna cost you $3,000 more. They got this all wheel protection, you got front body to back body coverage, and we're gonna give you free roadside assistance, but it's not really free because it's actually $5,000 more. And you know what? It doesn't matter your. Um, you're gonna pay already like $5,000 a month because it's not gonna cost you that much more. We're gonna, we're gonna divide it over the length of the loan. It's gonna be over five years. So your payment's only gonna increase more than, only gonna increase $1,000 a month, man, for all these extras. What do you say? And then you'd be like, oh, only $1,000 a month? That sounds like a great deal. I'm paying $5,000 a month for my car. What's $1,000 a month more? And then you realize you're paying $1,000 a month over five years. That's a lot of money. These finance guys are so sneaky, man. And then you got to pay interest on the stuff that they're giving you. Whoa. Petro Limex. No prices on the billboard here. I think I'm going to cross here to the other side and to tell you the truth, I'm going to wind this live stream down in a bit. It's getting hot and I want to cool down with a drink and something to eat. Oh wow, Ford and Ben was a car salesman. They get no cut of the F and I where all the money's made. You see?
Yeah, Alicia, there are traffic lights in Hanoi, believe it or not. When I went to Ho Chi Minh City, there weren't any. Alright everyone, I'm gonna wrap up my live stream here. It's time for me to cool down. Thank you so much for joining today. I need it after crossing that perilous bridge. Hit the like button, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Hi everyone, 